Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I'm in my natural environment with a load of chickens in their little enclosure. Ooh, being attacked. Uh, so, <laughs> yes, what we're going to do today is continue working in the fields. We only have a bit of work to do in this field. We just have to do another application of fertilizer. Then I think it's probably done until harvest time. This field is finished. It's fully fertilized. A nice field of corn. And yes, everything else here is all sorted nothing else to do need to move that pallet let's just get into the forklift here it is and overnight quite a bit of lettuce has spawned that really wasn't the most immersive thing to say quite a bit of lettuce has been grown and put into crates ready for taking to the farm shop so i'll get them moved i'm not too sure when we should actually sell the honey but as you can see the stockpile is building the uh, thing is, they're only 120 litres each, so although it looks like quite a bit, it actually isn't that much. Come on, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm sure another one is going to spawn very soon. As for the wool, well, that is just a nice bit of extra money. I'm probably going to start selling sheep, so we're going to breed them, take them to market, so we can make money from the animals themselves. So let's just see what we have here. We're four, we have 15, so it would make sense to start to sell just a few. Um, I think maybe the most expensive ones, uh, which would be these ones here. I think if I just... How many do we have? Do we have five? Five of those. Only £50 to ship them, which doesn't sound too bad at all. I think they're the best ones to sell, but I guess I'll learn in the near future. So there we go, it's a nice bit of money, £4,950, they can continue breeding and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some more sheep for free. Everything else there is absolutely fine, they've got all the water they need and all of the food. Let's take a look at the current price for wool. £2,064, that sounds about right, it, it doesn't seem to change too much uh, and I don't really look at this too much anymore because it's just not um, I don't think it's really worthwhile for some of the crops. For some of them it really is, others it doesn't really make a big difference. Wool does seem to be one of those crops, but yeah, seeing it over £2,000 is reassuring because I think, yeah, that seems to be where it peaks, maybe 2200 or so. So I think it's a good time to sell. What we'll do is we'll put these onto the car trailer and we'll take them to a sell point. Well, the spinnery. We're going to take them to the spinnery. I'm sure the chickens just over here have produced loads more eggs. Let's just see. Yes, thank you chickens. You're so good. Uh, so let's just put the size down on this trailer. It just make it so much easier. Left mouse button. We might need to have the engine running actually. Interesting. Yes, we do. We need the engine running to put the size down. I will load it up. And then we'll head off. Uh, is it worth putting the honey on here as well? Possibly not. But there's no point accumulating it if the price is right. Uh, there we go. So the current price, 3727 which actually does sound very good. Uh, it's going to go to the same place as the lettuce. So is the lettuce good? I apologise for my flicking on and off this menu. Okay, it's just a decline now for several months. So since we're going to be producing loads of lettuce, it's probably a good time to sell it. So yes, we'll take this to the spinnery, and we'll take the lettuce and the honey to the farm shop. This new forklift is already proving very, very handy. I'm so pleased that we bought it. Worth every penny. So what we need to do next is just throw a few straps over them and then take this over to the honey 
spawn area, but I am going to do the honey loading off camera since I know those honey pallets can be very sticky and it will be no fun to watch. Uh, these pallets are fine actually, these are very easy to stack. I don't know if the honey pallets are sticky just because of the honey, <laughs> uh, but yeah they do seem to um, really get stuck to the tines quite easily. So this is another feature which I love, being able to tow this trailer with the forklift, very handy. But of course we'll attach it to a different machine to take it over to the cell point. And the reason why we have time at times 10 is because I'm trying to get some more used machinery to pop up, although I've just noticed we do have rain in the forecast and the fertilising does need to be done, so yes, yeah, so let's just see when the rain is going to be here. Weather forecast... Oh, okay, 5 o'clock, that's absolutely fine. Because we are going to do the fertilising as soon as we get back, so we won't be that long. Okay, so we've got six. We'll pick up the final pallets as well. But, yeah, certainly got six. And uh, the one I just ran over. So I have been reading my comments as usual. And a couple of episodes ago, I was trying to find a collectible near to the bakery. I did find one, but I don't think it was the one which I was supposed to be finding. Because uh, it was supposed to be the nearest one to where we had been. But I have been given some instructions for this one which I should have been looking for. And we are now going to go and find it as well. So I think we do pass the bakery for the spinnery, don't we? Or maybe we don't. Uh, but we'll make sure we do. Um, because it would be good to get a collectible. Because all the collectible money goes towards very important things, not just being wasted. And I'm really trying to save up for a new field. And I would love to start doing some olive work as well, because after all, uh, yep, it's not just grapes, olives and grapes, but I haven't been able to do anything with olives at all, since we don't have the money. Oh, I've, I've wedged the pallet, typical. And there we go, we are finished. So everything here is going to the same place, so we don't need to worry about keeping them two separate. Like they can be right up against each other like they are now. And the forklift, probably will be used again very soon, so I'll just put it over here. We still have full charge. It doesn't really seem to consume much of the charge, which is great. It looks like it probably can uh, keep going for a full day's work, maybe even more. And we're going to use the valve tractor to, um, to take it to the cell point. I did say I'd wash it. We have just invested in a pressure washer. This tractor is going to be replaced as well, as soon as we find an appropriate replacement in the used machinery market, or the used machinery sale. I'm sure we can make it look so much nicer. Just with a good clean. We're losing a bit of paint here and there, but it's a well-used machine. It's been great. Okay, there we go. So much better. Right, so I think I'm probably going to pass the bakery to go to the farm shop. Yep, I do. So we'll try and find this one. It's on a rooftop, I think. From what I can understand. I think I have to go behind the bakery. Oh, we've got crop destruction on. This was not a good move. Oh, no. You fool. Oh, I did. I killed some. A very small amount. But look at that, 3,000 litres of lettuce, 730 litres of honey. Can't complain of that. Okay, and it's on the right-hand side, we can pull over. Put my hazards on. Park up in here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, this is the bakery. And I believe we have to go behind it somewhere. You have to bear with me. Behind it, then go up here, I think. And then it looks like that probably is the place. Go on the rooftop, jump across. And then there should be a placeable. Oh, sorry, a collectible up here somewhere. Aha! There it is. I jumped right over it. So, um, fresh fruit farmers. 
we have got our fifth collectible, I think it was. So we have 15 left. And 50,000 pounds, which is going to be very handy. So this is really good. Uh, this is all going to go towards our new field or our new tractor. Whichever comes first. <laughs> it really comes down to what appears in the used vehicle sale. So let's go. I'll see you over at the uh, the farm shop. And here we go. We're ready to sell. So I probably could cut through there, but I always go around. Just because I know that our sell point is around the back. It would probably just say lettuce is not accepted here or honey is not accepted. But, yeah, just makes sense to go around. So, from everything, see if we can get a bulk price here. It'll be very interesting to see. We have made, in a few days, £10,390. Which I think is pretty good. Yeah, very happy with that. Because we only set the lettuce to being created uh, in, in pallets. Being spawned in pallets just a day ago, I think. So, can't grumble. Right, let's get back. We'll jump into the pickup truck and we'll sell the wool. I'll go and pick it up whenever we get a minute because we don't even need it at the moment. It's going to be over a year. I oh, know, probably about a year <laughs> until we do need it. Uh, so yeah, let's just go back in here. It's going to be a little while until we do need this trailer again. The forklift can move it, which is great. So it should be absolutely fine there. As for this tractor, let's just pop it back in the shed. We'll be using the Matty Ferguson to do the spreading. And now into the pickup truck, which certainly needs to have some... Uh, we need to put some straps over these. There we go. Put the sides up. And yes, we need to go to the spinnery. Now, I'm not sure of any collectibles at the spinnery. I'm sure there will be some. I just haven't heard of any. So we could have a very quick look around, but if we don't see anything, I'm not going to waste time there. But it's always worth looking. Actually, it does feel like a spot which probably does have quite a few collectibles, but I just don't know where they are. So the spinnery is just up here. Here we go. Can we see anything? Not yet. Uh, so £6,312. Not bad at all. There must be something here. Buy the spinnery for 60000 Okay, so I have one very quick run around the buildings just to see if I can spot anything. You might get them inside these bins or something. Lurking behind a bench. Or maybe there is nothing here at all. Oh. <laughs> Getting stuck to lampposts. Would they put it in a bin? I guess they might do. That is a big watering can. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anything. Would they put something over here? Similar to where we found the one over at the observatory. Again, not seeing anything, so let's just quickly run behind the house and see if there's anything over here. But it doesn't look like there is. Well, there probably is, but if anybody knows of one... Hello! Look at this! Road Race Ratooning. So, <laughs> this is great. Without him being told about one, I have found one. I feel like I have achieved something. The only way I find out about some of them is just by reading my comments. Some viewers do leave some very convenient, handy comments sometimes, uh, which lead me straight to them, which I appreciate. Ooh. I said I wasn't going to intentionally go looking for them, but I just saw a building which looks like it is just perfectly set up for hiding a collectible in. Flew past here. I would put one in the archway, but it looks like there isn't one in the archway. 
maybe too obvious, or just for an animal. Again, I'm sure there will be one around here, but I can't be going out my way, so. As I'm close, if there is one here, please do let me know where it is. Yes, I'm I'm sure somebody would have uh, <laughs> located one in this area. And very soon, when the price is right, we will sell the eggs as well. Soon, we're going to run out of space, but luckily I can pick them up by hand. Which I might do right now, uh, although <laughs> I've blocked myself in. What were the chances? I'm used to right hand uh, drive. There we go. Yeah, we can get them moved. Store them on the trailer. Not for too long, they'll probably go off. Um, and then yeah, we'll take them when the price is really good. Which will likely be in the next episode. Four pallets ideally. And sadly we can't really stack them. As they'll be smashed. Good. But they won't be smashed by throwing them. Right then, so I'm very happy with all that. Let's get into the Matty Ferguson tractor. We'll fertilise our sorghum field for the final time. And then, well, the rain will be turning up soon. I think we have enough fertiliser. 24%. Uh, yeah, I think it will be. It doesn't consume it very quickly and it's not a very big field. Just make sure we're set to full width. Yes, we are. 42 metres. Start going around the headland. But yeah, I'm going to go across the field that way. Not this way. And we still need to drill our grass. So that is something which we could spend the money on. We could get a new drill. Even though I did say we're going to be buying a tractor and land. But I always forget about the the more important things. They're all important, but sometimes priorities prioritise the wrong things. We have land, we have a tractor, but we don't really have a decent drill. The one we have is decent, but it's not big. It's just far too small. There we go, all done. I don't think I've missed anything, but there is always a possibility. Did mess it up a bit. Uh, let's just take a look. Should look quite impressive. Yes, lovely, okay. Uh, so yeah, we need to now work on the grass area. Rain is coming. Look how much fertilizer we have left. We only just made it. Uh, leaving fork electric forklifts out in the rain. I'm guessing that is allowed. I'm sure they're all waterproofed. Probably still a good idea to put them under cover though. I'm not sure if leaving tracks out in the rain in this game deteriorates the paintwork faster. Probably just go on engine hours, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, right. So, drills. Do we have anything new? No, we don't. Still nothing. That's amazing. Um, well, I guess what we could do is move on to the next day, and then a new load of uh, used machines will have appeared, and the rain will have passed. We can drill grass at any time. It, it grows super quickly as well. So, providing the sheep have enough water we can move on, so let's just see here. Yes, they do. And everything else is fine as well. So yeah, I think we'll sleep. We'll move on to July. Look at all my cartridges. So which one was the one which we just picked up? That was one, Fresh Fruit Farmers. And we had that one there, Road Race Ratooning, was it? Yeah, I would say, so. does that say Ratooning? Okay, right, so there we go, our new collectibles. 
I will see you. I better go to eight. It's going to be a busy month. I'll see you in July. There's the rain. Okay, so the sorghum is looking very nice. Very, very nice. The chickens are producing their eggs. Everything's going very well. We're just waiting for the sorghum harvest to actually stockpile their food. That needs moving. Water needs topping up soon. The water in the greenhouse is really doing as well. And we have a few more eggs. Yep, quite a few. I could probably get them in if I put them the other way around. Yes, I'm putting them in the wrong orientation. Anyway, oh, can you believe it? I've just spent £55,000 on one of them. That is just so typical. And no drill. So, yes, it seems to not really go in my favour too much, although I was very lucky with the harvester. We're now getting grapes on the vines, and the corn crop is looking very healthy. I've just turned them all around, and we can indeed fit in one more pallet, and the price at the bakery is increasing, and the bakery is only up the road, as we know. So, as soon as we have one more pallet, we're going to sell it all, make loads of money. But yeah, what we're going to be looking at now is the drill. Now, it's a bit of an issue, because we do need to have a bigger tractor as well, uh, but we're just going to risk it to begin with. So... Here we go, a brand new, I don't like to do this, but a brand new Pottinger Terrasem C6F. We need 210 horsepower, ideally. Ah, oh, that seems uh, so expensive. I wanted to buy it used so badly. The forklift is frustrating. So yeah, Voltra, here we go. We're going to take our old one. We do get a little bit of money back, but barely anything. Hello, I've just crashed into the bag. I'm not too sure why I just announced that. Yeah, there's a bit of seed, so empty it there. And we'll head off. Probably get a few thousand pounds back for this. I now have a brand new planter and a brand new seed drill. I was very lucky with the planter. Bought that used. So, repair that for 949, and we get 50... Oh, that's much better than I thought. 15,267. Well, that's something, at least. But then this really has been paid for by the collectibles anyway, so I can't really complain. It's just like winning them, really. Now, I think we do have quite a bit of seed lying around in various places. We will need to buy some more seeds soon. Fertiliser though, yes, I think we're actually out of fertiliser. So if I go into this category, we can buy some more. Uh, probably get three, two. Yep, nothing's cheap, everything is expensive, but then very uh, realistic, because fertiliser prices really are high at the moment. Put the other one in. And that's about right. 83%, that's good enough. Besides, do we even need it for grass? I'm not too sure. I really hope this tractor can pull it. It could do with the service, actually. I should have serviced it. So I'll just collect up a few of these. It really is a big drill. one as well if I can do. Might need to get the forklift. Yep, there we go. And then we have a few on the end. Well, that's probably going to be enough. We do have another bag in there, but I can't really reach it. But yeah, it's not a huge area this, so let's just set this to grass. There we go. I don't know if I should start doing cover crops as well. Because then we get a natural fertiliser stage between growing our normal crops. It's like a winter crop. We'd have to plough it in. Okay, right, so, unfold this. I'm sure we have enough seed for this. I really hope we do. And, yeah, I wouldn't want to go smaller for this working with. This is just right. There we go. Okay, I was a bit wrong about the consumption of uh, seed. It's consuming it extremely quickly. And we're out. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe that. 
did it really only go that far? Well, clearly it did. Uh, right, okay, so I need to rethink that. I'm going to have to buy some more seed. Get another bag. It's amazing, because our small seed drill did that whole field with less than one hopper. Didn't even use a full hopper. This bag is looking quite full. I want to see how quickly it consumes it. Didn't really look at it carefully. That's 600 litres. Now, 600 litres in the old drill would have gone a very long way. So let's just try this again. Let's just see how far this goes. Whoa. That consumption just doesn't seem right. Would it really use that much? This is going to make me bankrupt with seed. Um, it doesn't seem right. I don't know for sure. Uh, but I would be very surprised if a drill should ever use seed that quickly. Which means my £109,000 really has gone to waste. Well, what I'll do is I'll fill it up to the top. And we'll do it again. If it just gets through it all again instantly, which it looks like it's going to, then I'm going to have to return it um, for the same price because it's faulty. But let's just give it a chance, first of all. Of course, it could be something I'm doing, but I've never experienced this issue before. I've never had a drill before which we would just get through the seed in no time at all. Right, so there we go. That's full. 1,600 litres. That should take quite some time to get through. It should cover some serious amount of ground. Here we go. This whole area should be very easily done with just maybe 20% of a hopper, if I was to have a guess. Already used a third. Yeah, this can't be right. Let's just see what options we have here. Yeah, it just can't be right. It's just far too fast. I wonder if it's just because I'm doing grass. Yeah, there we go. We have 12% left after one pass. So I'm going to put that down to faulty. Uh, I'm convinced that's not right. Please do tell me otherwise if it is normal. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I would be very, very surprised if that is considered normal. And um, yes, thank you, fertilizer. I will have you back. So I will see you in a minute when I've got my money back. Okay, so we're back. I've got my money back and we can now look at other cedars. The problem is that even for something like this, we need a bigger tractor. It requires 300 horsepower. That one was the easiest to pull in that range, otherwise we're back to something like this. So, yeah. As it turns out, I should have just used my old one. It would have made sense. Let's just get it done. Use one which is slightly bigger, it's a meter wider. And I could probably do it with my front weight. Because chances are, <laughs> this is kind of wheelie. Oh no, not too bad. So, since so much seed got wasted, I have to buy another one. But I do have a small amount left in the field. Oh yeah, I'll put a front weight on. This will be interesting to see how quickly it gets through. We've got a thousand litres. See how quickly it gets through a thousand litres. Set it to grass, there we go. Got the front weight. Let's get drilling. Sorry car, we do that all the time. Just hope we have enough power. This is a power harrow as well. Okay, so that's the seed from last time. We'll head over here. And let's finally get this done. It's been dragging on. Good. And as you can see, seed consumption is normal. Just 
very, very gradually decreasing. It's actually not a bad drill, this. It seems to be, uh, yeah, pretty good working with. Should have just considered this in the first place. So yeah, we need to get a bigger tractor, and then we need to get a bigger drill. Tractor first, I think. It's just going to make sense. I put the fertilizer in the spreader. Because that also makes sense. Gets it out of the way, and we can use it in the future. Okay, so I'm going to get this finished off, and then I'll see you as we're just wrapping things up. There we go, just finishing off. So yeah, we will sell some eggs, just to complete the episode. Finish on a high with some more money. Uh, oh yeah, the textures, they did get a little bit confused there, didn't they? I think it was picking up the previous drill's texture and then smearing it across where I was doing the new area, but I don't know for sure. Hopefully that gets fixed fairly soon. So yeah, I need to empty the seed. Then I can return this. Should have another pallet of eggs, hopefully. Right, so this is where it lives. Two bags there. Hmm, having a little bit of an issue today. I was trying to return that, it did return the power harrow, but I can't return the rest of it. Uh, if you take a look on here, it says I've got nothing leased. So, maybe it'll just disappear. If not, I'll have to use the forklift and take it to the cell point. Failing that, I've got a free drill. So yeah, I did say not to stack. I really do mean don't stack, but... Uh, maybe we can get some... I don't know how many we can actually get into the back of the pickup. I really don't want to stack. Oh good, we can. So, we'll get the rest of them. So far we have 8,400 eggs. Very impressive. going to be such a big harvest next time. And yeah, quite a few here as well. Brilliant. So, as we saw before, it's the bakery. Uh, so the bakery is just literally up the road. Oh no! No, it said the price was going up and yet it's decreased. Why would that be? Right, let's just get it where we can do. Unless, of course, I was looking at the wrong product, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't. So here we go. This is our sell point just here for eggs. They are selling. Looks like the pickup might be a bit too high. Take those out. This is still going to be good, even though we're about a thousand pounds down per 1,000 litres, which is a shame. Come on, keep selling. We have lots of eggs. I think I might have given them too many. Okay, well, I've done a few tests and it looks like it will only take so much in a certain period of time. They have to use the eggs. So we'll take it to the other cell point, which is now offering a good price. It's a different day. This is the farm shop. So we get an extra £15,610, which is brilliant. So we're going to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.